What's up, Norberg Nation? How's it going? So I've done so many videos trying to help you guys win races. I've done videos on driving technique, racing lines, and cart setup, and all these other kinds of videos to give you guys the best chance at winning a race. Now there's no video that I can do that says if you follow this, this, and this, you're gonna win a race. But I can do the next best thing possible, and that's give you guys more confidence when you're leading a race, so that when the checkered flag flies, you're the guy at the front of the pack. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys four tips to make you guys more confident leading the pack. But before we get into that, we have to talk about today's sponsor, which is Minus 273. So Minus 273 has been with me for so many years. They're actually the gloves I wore when I won my first Pro Tour Championship. You guys don't understand how much time there is by having the right gloves. Minus 273 has always given me the lightest glove while giving me great grip on the steering wheel. When you have a glove that doesn't grip the steering wheel correctly, your hands slide and it actually causes a lot of fatigue in your forearms and your biceps. Minus 273 always gives me great grip on the steering wheel and that just allows me to have one less thing that I'm thinking about while I'm out on the racetrack. So because Minus 273 is such a great sponsor, they're allowing me to give one of you guys a free set of Minus 273 gloves. So this is what you have to do to enter. Make sure you subscribe to the Norberg Nation channel. Next, follow Minus273 on Instagram and my Instagram as well. And finally, in the comments below, comment what year I won my first Scusa Pro Tour Championship. Again, that's the first year I started using Minus273 as well. And if you don't know that answer, you can just go on my Instagram and scroll down enough and you'll find my first Pro Tour Championship. And just look at the year and you'll see what year I won it. Again, I want to say a big thank you to Minus273 for sponsoring this video. And if you guys like videos like this and you like sponsors coming into the video, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out so much having the support from you guys because it allows me to go to these sponsors that can bring you guys cool stuff. So if you like free racing content and free racing gear, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. All right, with that being said, let's get started with the video. So my first tip to being more confident leading races is visualization. This is something that I realized quite a few years ago. Many years ago, I was going to the racetrack and I thought to myself, how well am I gonna finish at this race? I was thinking the best thing that I could do is maybe a top three or a top five, and then it kind of hit me. Why am I here if I don't think I can win this race? Well, finally, I started picturing myself crossing the line first. I decided that this was the last race that I was gonna sit there and think that I was gonna finish just on the podium or just inside the top five. I was gonna actively think of myself driving across the line first. I would literally close my eyes and just imagine myself crossing the finish line and only seeing the flagman. Surprisingly enough, this ended up being the first race that I won. And since that day, every race that I'm at to this day, I visualize myself crossing the line first. So something that normally happens to people when they get out front is this is the first time you've actually seen the racetrack with nobody in front of you. You can't see any go-karts in front of you, and so you kind of tense up because you don't have those references when you're going into the braking zone. I spoke on it a few videos ago, but this is why I practice alone. Even though I'm not getting the whole picture of being alone on the racetrack, I'm getting some idea of being alone and having my braking zones already picked out. But because leading a race is still a different experience, it really helps to visualize driving alone on the racetrack. Every day before a race, I close my eyes and picture myself just doing laps around the racetrack without anybody in front of me. This helps just give me that extra advantage that when I do take the lead, I'm ready because I've been in this position before even though we haven't done any racing. Visualization has always helped just calm me down when I get out to the lead because I know what to expect. I've already pictured myself in this position, so I'm not surprised at what's being thrown at me. So try and visualize yourself doing laps completely alone, not a single go-kart in front of you. Picture those braking zones in your head. Picture the apexes that you have to get next to. Just imagine everything you can so that when you take the lead, you're that much more confident out front. And then again, imagine yourself crossing the line first. I'm only speaking from my experience, but I never thought of that. You know, that was something that didn't cross my mind, was picturing myself driving across the finish line and there being no go-karts in front of me. I'm telling you, it sounds stupid and it sounds simple, but this little tip can make you so much more confident when you get out front. And now my second tip to being more confident in the lead is brake late, but don't overdrive. Now there's two spots on the racetrack that the person in second is gonna catch you in. That's number one, the straightaway, and number two, the braking zones. Now the straightaway we can't really do anything about, 
but the braking zones we can't. What normally happens when people get out to the front is they lose that reference point in the braking zone. So because you lose that reference point, you start braking earlier because you don't wanna make the mistake and then lose time on your competitors. Again, I spoke on it in a few videos before um, because it is so important to practice alone so that you know your braking zones when you're out front, but when you get to the lead, make sure you're still pushing with that same intensity that you did when you were catching the guy in second. The guy in second is gonna be pushing to catch you, so you have to be pushing hard to stay in front and pull away from that driver. Under driving is just as bad as overdriving. So if you're going into the corner and braking 10 feet earlier, that's just as bad as going into the corner and missing your apex. Both are slow, so it's better that you're trying to push the go-kart when you're out there. Again, it's super important not to overdrive. So if you are realizing that you're going into the corner and you're missing apex, and making a lot of mistakes, back it up a little bit. But definitely when you get out to the lead, this isn't a sign just to take it easy. Again, there's only two spots where the drivers catch you. And if you can eliminate one, it discourages the driver in second so much, they overdrive and they try even harder. By doing that, you're only increasing your confidence and decreasing theirs. This is something that I've really worked on over the years, and I think it's working out pretty well recently. So the third tip I have to increase your confidence out front is to expect to be slower than the drivers behind you and expect them to catch you. So, so many times I see people get out to the lead and it's constant looking back. They pass me for the lead and the only thing they see is me. They're over their shoulder every single corner. There's no big shock because I'm still behind you. There's no reason to keep looking back every single corner because you just keep making mistakes and I keep catching back up to you. Now, this is something that I've struggled with a lot is just looking back and focusing too much on the drivers behind me. Actually, that first win that I'd started visualizing, I also decided I'm not going to look back this race at all. After I passed for the lead, I kept my head down and did every single lap. And by the time the white flag flew, I looked back to check where my competition was and there was nobody there. The whole time in my head, I truly believed that they were on my bumper. I even thought I was hearing them going into the corner. Because of that, I pushed every single lap as hard as I could and I pulled away by like two seconds. And so this little regional race, I still use that same mentality at all the national level races that I go to. Now you will see me look back because I am trying to strategize my race a little bit, but I'm not trying to hyper-focus on the guys behind me. Even when I look back and have a huge lead, I'm picturing them catching me. I understand that there's a ton of laps left in a race and the odds are they're gonna catch me. So every lap I'm going in with that mentality that I'm gonna get caught in this race. I have to keep pushing every single lap so that I can increase my lead and hold off these guys who are catching me. This also helps with your confidence as well because not only are you expecting to be caught, you're expecting to be passed. Now something that happens to a lot of drivers is they weren't expecting to be passed. And now what happens when they do get passed is they start to panic and they start driving way too hard to make up that time. Again, this is something that I've done. So if you guys expect to get passed, when you do get past, you're not gonna be surprised by it and you're gonna be able to get back in your rhythm and start catching the leaders and try to pass back for the lead. Again, the only thing we can really do is build your confidence out front. I can't tell you exactly how to win the race, but if you're more confident out front, you're gonna make less mistakes and increase your likelihood of winning the race. So expect to be slower than the drivers behind you and drive hard every single lap. Push the go-kart and then expect to be passed so that if they do catch you and pass you, you're ready for it. You're one step ahead of the rest of the drivers. And finally, tip number four, don't make mistakes and take everything one lap at a time. So when I say don't make mistakes, that sounds pretty simple. I'm not talking about the little mistakes that everybody makes throughout a whole race. I make mistakes all the time, everybody does. But what I'm saying is don't let those mistakes affect your next corner. A lot of learning the maturity in racing and learning to be more confident in yourself is understanding that we all make mistakes. Sometimes you clip a curb, sometimes you turn in too early, sometimes you brake too late, but that's okay. What you need to understand is just because you lost a tenth in one corner doesn't mean you should try and make it up in the next. Something that a lot of people do is they go, okay, I just made a mistake here, let me try and make that time up in the next corner. And then they lose another tenth. And then they think, well, now I'm down two tenths, let me go try and make it up in the next corner. And so then you push into the next corner and you lose another tenth and now you're down three. So that one tenth mistake is now a quarter of a second mistake and that's really affecting your race. Those drivers are just eating up that time behind you. So it's important that you find your rhythm. You get in a zone where you're just hitting your marks and you're not thinking too much about the previous corner. Take it one lap at a time. Take it one corner at a time. Every corner you should be pushing as hard as you can so that 
if you were to make a mistake, there's no real time to make up in the next corner. Understanding this is becoming more mature in racing. Understanding that mistakes can happen. It's how you handle those mistakes that make you a better driver. Being relaxed and being calm allows you to take everything one corner at a time. It allows you to have that confidence every single braking zone so that if you do make a mistake, it's okay. You already thought the drivers were gonna catch you anyways. Let's just get back in a rhythm and get back to putting down good laps. Consistency is one of those things that beats everything else. Yes, you can be quick, but if you're not doing that same lap time every single lap, it doesn't do much for you. If you can minimize those mistakes, mentally you'll be fresher and your times are gonna be a lot better. So take everything one lap at a time and even corner to corner. It's okay to make mistakes, but don't let those mistakes affect your lap as a whole. Take each corner as they come and just focus on the task at hand. Again, if you guys follow these four tips, it's not gonna guarantee you a win, but it'll definitely help a lot. If you guys are much more confident behind the wheel, once you get out to the lead, you're gonna be a threat when it comes to those final laps. These are the secrets that I've learned over the years that have made me a much better driver when I get out to the lead. This is something that I've really worked on over the years. And you can tell the difference between a driver who hasn't led a race, a driver who's a seasoned vet at leading those races. So learn to be a seasoned vet. Once you get out front, take this advice and be ready for what's gonna be thrown at you. I guarantee you, if you follow these things, once you get out to the lead, you're gonna be much more calm in that position. And hopefully, you'll come across the line first. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Not only does that help me out, but it also helps you guys out because I can bring cool sponsors to help give you guys some more free stuff. Make sure to comment your answers down below to the question to get your minus 273 gloves. Again, you can find that answer on my Instagram. If you just scroll down enough, you'll definitely find the answer there. So make sure you don't miss out on a free set of gloves. Make sure to go pick up your Norberg Nation merch. You guys can find that link in the description down below or on my Instagram. That'll be where you can find all the links to all of my socials. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and on my Facebook. That's where you get any updates on my racing career or anything interesting that's going on in my life. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you at the next one.